Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, three Chianti Classicos, are they all Chianti Classico? Uh, from, uh, yes, from um, Barone Ricasole. Um, so I've got Brolio, I've got Brolio Reserva, and I've got Castello di Brolio. Let's just dig into uh, the Brolio 2012 and see where we get to. Now this is that light, um, juicy, uh, medium-bodied, full-flavoured style of um, of young Chianti. Um, it's probably had a little bit of time in oak, but it's not uh, oaks nor what it's about. It's all about fresh, perky fruit. So there's um, yeah, a bit of blackberries, uh, black cherry, uh, and it feels like there's something um, or slightly menthol-like. Yeah, there's a refreshing earthiness there. It feels yeah, there's this, this a freshness, freshness, um, and. Um, I, I, Chianti is um, one of those, well, Chianti Classico. Uh, often I find myself preferring the uh, uh, the simpler wines to the uh, the more aged uh, styles. And here, it's a, certainly a very good good way to start the tasting. It's um, um, yeah, it's persistent. It's got uh, it seems to have got layers of flavour. And uh, yes, there's a cherry in there now and then. There's a bit of blackberry, maybe a bit of black currant in there, and some herbs, some herbs and spices. Nice. Okay, next one down is the Brolio Reserva 2010. Let's try that. I mean, this feels like it's come from a, a much warmer vintage. Um, and, um, a, a, yes, extra oak age. It almost reminds me of, um, I know they don't do Ripasso. Ripasso is a Valpolicella style, but uh, it almost reminds me of Ripasso Chianti. It feels like there's going to be a sweeter, warmer, uh, maybe puddingy fruit. Um, but um, is it better or is it just different let's have a see good rich honest wine um, there's a juiciness around it there's this supple um, yeah riper um, yeah sweeter fruit than uh, uh, than in, in the regular regular Chianti Classico uh, but I mean it's a different style um, and I it's uh, for me it's not uh, I, I, the price suggests that it would be better and the reserver shouldn't say it was better but um, do you know what I, I think given the choice I actually prefer the uh, uh, the basic uh, the basic Chianti Classico to, to the reserver I know there'll be lots of other people who prefer it the other way around for precisely the reasons that I actually prefer the younger fresher one as opposed to the richer more voluptuous uh, sweeter slightly spicier with that little touch of, um, uh, of uh, smoky oak coming through but um, yeah, I I think I prefer the uh, the simpler one. Final one, uh, Castello di Brolio, again 2010 vintage. Let's give this one a whirl. And this is one of those what they call the Gran Selezione, uh, which I think was introduced in 2014 uh, with the first vintage that was permitted to use that uh, designation being, I think, 2010. Um, but uh, the idea is, um, they don't want to call it ground reserva, but it's, uh, it, I think it's got to have extra age, it's got to have more typicity. Basically, I think it's a panel that sits there and uh, say, yes, that's in, mm, not so sure about that. Uh, but this one has passed. Um, comparing it with the previous one, uh, it feels maybe a little bit more, uh, it doesn't feel quite as, uh, as um, sweet and overripe. But what I do notice is, uh, notice the oak, uh, the oak impact being a little bit stronger here. Uh, sometimes I think of this idea of, I call it Calvados-like oak. It's um, when you get spirit in in, in, uh, in contact with raw wood and it gives a particular type of character. I remember going round a, a few Calvados producers several years ago and uh, the smell sticks in my mind and uh, that's what I get there, this slightly apple edge. I can't fault it for intensity. Um, I do prefer it to the, the reserver and um, uh, um, I do think that it's, it's got a, a very good future, um, but I come back to the, in terms of wines that give me the most pleasure, the, uh, the basic Chianti Classico, I think, does its job as well as any of these three. Um, I, I thinking, just, just to talk about the, the Castel di Brolo, it's got this nice black cherry intensity. And yes, the oak that I could smell, it feels like a little bit more time and it will uh, meld in with the, with the rest of the wines. A little bit of herbs, a little bit of spice there. 
and um, it, yeah, there's a nice suppleness, but uh, there is this also this bite of tannin. And uh, at the moment, I taste a lot of the wine making and maybe not enough of uh, of the raw materials. Maybe that will come with, with time, but uh, the one I'm going to be drinking tonight is the um, is the basic one. See you soon. <laughs>